Hey YouTube, it's Renee, and I finished my December daily slash journal year Christmas, and I'm excited to show you it, but first I want to show you everything I used up. So this is the second 6x6 pad, and I used ooh, almost all of it out of 24 sheets. I only have seven full sheets left, and then I have a couple partials. So I think I did a pretty good job um, using most of those papers up. Next, I want to show you the sticker sheets. I've got almost all of this one used. Almost everything except a couple arrows here. Whoops. I used a ton of the hearts and stars on this one. I've used not as quite as many on this one. I used a few of these letters and phrases, but they didn't seem to really go. Um, I used a few of the banners. I used all the snowflakes and a couple of the ornaments, but I didn't use any of the holly and I didn't use any of the candy canes. Okay, this kind of bugs me. They don't alternate. And I don't like that way. I wish they were going the other way. It's still like a petty thing, but it didn't seem to work out very good. And then I only used, I think, two or three, two of the little stickers. But I think this will be good for, you know, next year if I want to put on the back of my card to seals or whatnot. And then um, the plastic overlay stickers. So I used a few here. Maybe about six, I think. And this one, I use one or two. This one, I use maybe three or four. I know it's hard to see. I'm sorry about that. There's a little heart missing there. And that was it. So then moving on to, oh, there's one more, I guess. And this one, I use the Hello Santa at the bottom and a couple here you can't really see. Um, anyway, I used a few. And then moving on to my letters. I had a whole load of these letters because I bought a ton of them at Archivers when they went out of business and I had a few. And these are really old making memories. So what I was trying to do is use up as many letters as I could. Um, this one is pretty much shot besides the numbers. This one has a few... I mostly run out of the A's and E's, so this one's still good. This one, like the uppercase are still good, but as you can see, I used a lot of the twos and the ones. Um, this one is pretty much shot, except for some of the numbers. This one's shot. This one is pretty much shot. Same with this one. This one, there's hardly anything left. I think I, I have to figure out what I can do with these. Okay, so then I opened up this new one, and I only used a couple letters out of it. And this one I used a lot. Um, they came in these two packages here. And then I have one full sheet out of the double. So I used quite a bit of those letters and I didn't even put them on every card. So I'm quite happy with that. So now I'm going to show you what I used up of the pink paisley. There were 70 pieces in this Mary and Bright set and this is what I have left. This is my little penguin I got from Pier 1. Isn't he cute? I love penguins. Anyway, this is what I have left. I have about 36, I think I counted, pieces left. So I used about half of them up. And this is what I have left. I was showing you earlier that I was using this DIY Simple Stories Christmas and this is the ephemera pack or the die cut pack and that's what you get in it. There are 80 pieces and this is what I have left. So I, I roughly 40 and part one partial. So I used about half of this pack up. So pretty good progress. Now I'm just showing you the things I didn't use. I didn't open that cute stamp that says don't open little Christmas. I didn't use the North Pole stamp, fa la 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 la, and the stars, 
and I didn't use any of these flowers. Hi YouTube, it's Renee. I'm back with my completed December daily slash journal you Christmas. I try to do December daily, but I don't have something going every day because I have older kids. So I fill in with the journal your Christmas prompts. So let me take you to the first spread where I have my title card and I use some wood veneer letters from an old freckle fawn kit and I got these um, the rest of everything is from the kit I, sh I showed you except for this memories I picked up at Joann's it's a little yellow bicycle kit so there's the first card and it goes with the manifesto and I just kind of made my own this is following Chamel's prompt relish to the past but cherish today embrace changing traditions stress less Enjoy the little things. Be open to both the holiday season and the changes of life. Kind of where I am right now. An almost empty nester. So that these two go together and they are day one. And this is day two. First sign. It says, I don't like to start celebrating Christmas before Thanksgiving. I don't like it when stores decorate too early. These cute vintage reindeer showed up at Target the week of Thanksgiving. The week of Thanksgiving. Even I had to smile. So here's my picture of the reindeers at Target. I'm sorry for the shadow there. And then this is day three with my plans. Uh, I don't think I'm going to read everything here. These are the things I wanted to do. I did about half of them. So then I did a photo collage of the things I that we did, or I did. We went to the Minneapolis Holiday Market. Uh, we competed in the holiday open. I made gift tags, and this is a, a picture of me before we went to the Celtic Thunder concert, the holiday concert with my husband. So, this is the first days, or the first three days. I'm just going to give you a panning overview of the next six days, so you can see kind of how they go together. And I'll kind of come back down. Here's the pictures of the pajamas that I bought my nieces and nephews. And this was a Chamel prompt. I should say the first three days were all Chamel prompts, and so was the fourth day. Um, it's like a gift. And then this is just talking about the, my gift to my nieces and nephews every year is uh, red PJs, because my grandma Lou started that tradition. And ironically... I hated that to gift growing up, but my kids like it because my pages are way cooler than the footy zip from Sears or red pajamas that my grandma bought me. So there's that. And then day five is a December date. Sorry about the shaking. A December daily page. I competed in the holiday open doing jump and spin with my friend Karen. And then I did a split screen of the two pictures. Me, Karen, and Allie, my coach. And then me and Karen with our first place medals. And day six was a prompt about cards from the Journal of Your Christmas. And then these are my shaker cards that I made. And if you want to see how I made them... I give an explanation in one of my other videos. Okay, so moving on to day seven. is kind of a hybrid prompt because one of the prompts was, what's your cozy, you know? And it's also my husband and I. I took this selfie. I'm so proud of it. It's actually a good selfie. Most of my selfies are bad. But anyway, they really look cute all bundled up anyway. Um, so it's kind of a hybrid between Journal Your Christmas and December Daily. So I titled it Cozy and talking about how it was cold outside and we were bundled up. And down here was the prompt for the Christmas tree. And I've done Journal Your Christmas so many years now that um, it's kind of hard to think about what to talk about. So... I just talked about our ornaments, and then I did one from each of us using my selfie. 
And then, oops, it looks like my title is falling apart here. That's the thing about those letters. Some of them are so old that they started coming off, so I'm going to have to glue those back down. On day nine, her prompt was a special treat, and I was talking about the frosty trees and the snowman. I'm the only one in my house that likes the frosty trees, so I get to eat them all. But my kids like the snowman, so I'm going to have to fix that one. So now here's just an overview of the two-page spread from day 10 through day 15. And day 10 was talking about lists. This is a prompt from Chamel. And I have my bullet journal, a list Megan made on paper, a list Sean made on paper, and then an email that Brianna sent me. Day 11 was another prompt called Wrap It Up. And every year for this prompt, I just do my paper for the year. So this year, my husband got me this giant roll of paper. I didn't even use it all up. Um, but, and I made those cute little tags. And this is another prompt on day 12 called Mary Mentor. And I just took a picture of my husband putting up the Christmas lights and also what our house kind of looked like decorated. Then back up to day 13, this was another Chamel prompt called Winter, and just a couple pictures of how little snow we had. It was kind of crazy. We got a lot of snow in November, then it all melted, and we'd get snow, and it would melt, and we'd get snow, and it'd melt. And I guess there was a white Christmas because it was pretty brown when I left, um, but it was quite snowy. The driveway was full when we came back. And this day kind of switched over to December daily mode. Megan and I go to the Mall of America every year. And so this is just a picture of her. I've got some of the decorations. Day 15 is a Chamel prompt called Deck the Halls. And for that, I used a photo of the new garland that I put on all of our banisters. Here's an overview of days 16 through 21. So you can kind of get a feel. So day 16 is about culture and entertainment. And so I just took two pictures of my TV when I was watching my two favorite movies. Miracle on 34th Street and How the Grinch Stole Christmas. My husband and I really like Max the dog in that, so I have a picture of him sliding down the hill. And then 17 was a different kind of list. And I just took a screenshot from my iPhone of the Christmas songs that I recently added. So I added these four songs to my collection of holiday songs. And then day eight is talking about dinner. And then I used a photo of my plate at Christmas. And sadly, now that I'm on my new diet, I think there's one thing I can eat is the turkey on there. I'm on a low sugar, low carb diet now. And it seems to be working. But anyway, so now I'm back to December Daily on day 19. May and Sean and I went over to the holiday market in Minneapolis. There's a photo of Meg and I having a hot cider and a picture of the sign. And then on day 20, this is another December Daily page. I got this really nice, super nice note from one of the little kids parents that I teach teach uh, learn to skate to and it was just so sweet that I wanted to I taught skating that morning and I got that got a little package of candy and this note so I wanted to document that and then on day 21 we celebrated Christmas with my in-laws so it's just talking about that and then my mother-in-law always sets a really nice table, so this is 
her table. And then I added one of those um, laps and snap. And then this is playing settlers after my in-laws and, and Brianna. And then my husband, he was mad that I put this picture in because he thought he looked crabby in it. And then Megan, but they're all, we're all in the scope of the table. And that we're all playing. So now I'm just going to show you an overview of the 22nd through the 24th. And this day is all photos from the 24th. It The 24th, Christmas Eve, is a bigger deal to us than Christmas Day. Christmas Day is more chill. My father's family is Scandinavian. I'm third generation American from Finnish and Swedish descent. And I believe that's where that tradition comes from. It's a little bigger deal on Christmas Eve. That's the day we go to Mass and we open our presents and have our... We have two big dinners, but that's the first of our big dinners. So this now I'm kind of back in December, excuse me, back in December daily mode. And this one's called present time. I do not, this goes back to when the kids were getting Santa Claus presents. I do not like to haul presents out to Michigan only to haul them back because we have such little space. We have so many gifts we need to bring out and the kids bring a ton back. So we open our presents at home, so this is the night that we open our presents from each other. And there's my two kids with their present piles. And there's the card. And then on the 23rd was the day that we went out to Michigan. And it's kind of, Shamel has a travel prompt every year, but it's not really in, in, I don't know if it was the right day or not. But anyway, this is the day that we went out and I'm just talking about how my... Husband is the master Tetris packer. I don't know how he got all that stuff. And he had that big tar archery target for my niece. And he had a 32-inch TV, three suitcases, and, you know, all the assorted presents. But he somehow got them all in the back of our Chevy Equinox. So I'm totally impressed with him. And then this is Christmas Eve, which, as I said, was the height of our celebration. It's the night we go to Mass. It's the night we open our gifts from each other. It's the first of our big meals. It's reverent, then it's chaotic and joyful. It is family, it's love. And that's kind of how my Christmas Eve is. So the kids are, except for maybe Joey, who's nine. The rest of the kids are older and they kind of really don't believe anymore. But they still get socks. So this is all their socks lined up. And then... Over here is the adult table, half of the adult table. And my aunt and uncle and my cousin came. And over here is the kids' table. And you can see I added some of those stickers to the photos just to jazz it up a little bit. Here's a photo including my aunt and uncle. And here's a family photo of us all. Um, I use the self timer on my other camera. And just the immediate family. And then down here is two of my nephews, and I wanted to include the presents just to show, and the wrap and everything just all being crazy because that's how much the present opening is. It's, it starts out good, but then it ends up crazy. And then just my brother, my mom, my sister, Megan, Bree, and Joey, just half posed, half crazy. Now this is the overview of days 25 through 28 and this whole big six slot one page spread is all of Christmas Day and the kids just look so cute in their red PJs that I wanted to do it just about that because it's a pretty chill day so here's all the kids that were there I'm missing the two littlest ones with their mom in New York City and then here's a picture of my two kids breaking the wishbone on the turkey. That's a little tradition that they have amongst themselves. And then my sister's kids. And this is just talking about Christmas Day. And then my kids with my sister's kids. And then just a what cute candid of my sister and my two kids on the couch. We're still kind of back in December daily mode here. 
this is the 26th and the day after Christmas my husband usually made pasties with my mother-in-law if you don't know what a pasty is it comes from the Cornish it's a meat pie with like potatoes and rutabagas and carrots in it and um, it's traditional minor kind of fare and I grew up in a traditional mining area and my grandmother made them and my sister-in-law used to make them too and my sister-in-law taught my husband how to make them so he makes he likes to make them the day after Christmas and it was sad this year because my sister-in-law passed away in November so here's just some photos of my husband my nephew and my mom and then my sister-in-law's KitchenAid mixer it's kind of sad um, that she's not here with us but we felt kind of close to her that we were using her mixer. And then the 27th is just a photo of us. We didn't get a photo of all of us together on Christmas, so we took this one in front of my mom's tree before we were heading out, so there's the four of us. And then on the 28th, it was the last game of the year for the Vikings. We were playing Chicago Bears and kind of calling it the Battle of the Basement because they're both teams are not very good. Um, so here I just did a photo collage of our view from the field. And then Ragnar, he's kind of an unofficial mascot. The official mascot is Victor, who's kind of a cartoony looking character. But this guy, Ragnar, kind of dresses up and kind of entertains the crowd. And this day he was kind of mimicking the cheerleaders. It was kind of funny. And we sit down on the one end zone. And then it was so cold there was snow between the seats. They didn't, they just did the the stairs and where you stand. Um, but under the seats it was snowy and the cup holders were all full of snow. So that's my husband's beer in the Minnesota snow. So this is the last page. I just go through December 31st. Chamel goes on longer, but I just run out of stuff after that. So... This is the 29th where I'm kind of back to the Chamel prompts. And her, her, her prompt for this day was pretty much anything goes. And it's kind of a sad prompt, but this is my parent's dog, Sammy. He's a Siberian Husky and he is 10 and he is just not doing so good health-wise. So it's kind of barely hanging on there. And... Um, he might not be around for next Christmas, so just want to take a little picture of him on Christmas. And he did perk up quite a bit when the kids came around to pet him, but he just looks so sad there, poor guy. And then another Chamel prompt for the 30th, and this is just a year in review. So I took a lot of different pictures from my phone throughout the year, and I'm not going to go through them all, but that one... The second in from the left, that is my husband's grandmother's 100th birthday. I can hardly believe it, 100 years. That's amazing. But just lots of group shots of families and, and our celebration. And a little shot here of our doggy Crystal right down there because it wouldn't be the same without her. And then I didn't really put too much about the 2014 in a review. Just the good travels. I did a lot of traveling this year. Good times with family and friends. And the bad is losing my sister-in-law, Lisa. It's so sad. And then back to December daily mode. And this is New Year's Eve. And the kids went to their parties. And I and my husband followed our tradition of staying home and having a seafood feast. It's the only time we can get good seafood in Minnesota. So we watched Pitbull's New Year's Eve, had our seafood, and a champagne toast at midnight. And this is a picture of my plate of my asparagus and my lobster tail. This got to be a really long video. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.